Welcome to the plus add-on performance testing. As many customers have requested about performance improvement. So in our version 2.0, we have improved our performance. And on a first glance, lots of people have questions like if you have this many options and this many widgets, then your plugin must be a heavy. Like there should be a lots of request for JS and CSS and that should be a like a bulk of like 2 MB or 3 MB of CSS and JS as per our options and as per our widgets. So to clarify that we have prepared this video and the test. So in this test we are gonna use hello theme from the Elementor. We are gonna use the plus add-ons version 2.0. We will use GT matrix to test all the pages. So let's start. First of all, we already have installed Hello theme and activated that. In the plugins, we have activated Elementor only for the first test. In the first test, we will check out what will be the score with the Elementor's one widget and with the Hello theme. So let's go to the pages. Let's add one page. Let's publish it. We're gonna add it with the Elementor and use one widget like heading. And I must tell you. If you compare this heading widget and their options with our widget, you will find out the difference because we have lots of options to choose from. Let's remove this. Let's just keep the one widget, it's a heading widget, and update it and let's check it out its GT matrix values. So let's go there. It's showing few jobs are already ahead of us. It will available very soon. Okay, it's taking a bit time. Okay, here we go. Yes, we found out it's a it's took. 1.4 seconds the total page size was 192 kbs and 24 requests now let's make a new page let's close this close this as well oh wait now we're gonna activate the the plus add-ons for elementor page builder it's activated and now we are gonna add new page. Let's publish it and add it with the Elementor. Here we again gonna put the text block from our widgets. You can see there are lots of options available. Even in the advanced, there is a plus extra where you can choose magic scroll and lots of other options. But let's keep everything off and update it. Let's find out its values. Let's keep it as it is. So we are making a duplicate of that post and we are adding our new link. It's a taking time, it's like almost there.
okay great here you go so it's a 1.4 second it's the same the page size is increased to around 30 kb and the request are increased to only 4 now as you know we don't gonna use this kind of page anywhere right we also have multiple widgets so let's make a new page with the multiple widgets so let's go add new i am not using the same page because it will catch the same results from the gt matrix so better to go with the new page Now we gonna add multiple widgets. This error is because of the memory limit. It's a spinning wheel. So you generally need to make your memory limit 1000 M to resolve this problem. But now let's get back to the our testing. Now we gonna add multiple widgets. Let's use text block. Let's use block quote number counter. Like you can all, all the default values, value, so we are not, not, not changing anything. Let's go Let's with, go with the post search. search. There might be few more. Like creative image, which have tons of options you can check out here. So it's not like a small widget, it's a heavy widget. Okay, now let's update it and check out this performance. So let's see the preview performance. So this one is the first, second and I am duplicating it here and doing our third test. In this third test we will have multiple widgets as you can see here. Okay, here you go. You can see the difference. It's a load time, but that depends on the server, and it's only three seconds, three milliseconds plus. Then there is the page size, which is 229 to 331. It's almost 100 KB, and we have almost four to five new widgets, and those are the heavy widgets, not like or you have a 5 to 10 options only to manage with you will have a almost 200 plus options in each widget to manage and you will have a request of 31 that is only 3 requests increased so you can see how the performance is optimized like you will not see any major difference in between these 3 here you can find the difference this is the first one which was just with the elementor this one is with the one widget of the plus add-ons and this one with the multiple widgets of the plus add-ons so you can see the difference and it's a so much improvement by doing our optimization technique in which we are just calling one js and one css per page and only few v CSS and JS will load separately. So thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites with the plus add-ons. If you have any other questions write in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.